Hey guys, it's Julia here, and today I have these two really old laptops. Now, there's another laptop I'll show in this video, but I'm going to show these two first, because these are two really old, thick Dell Inspirons, and I plan to get rid of a lot of computers over the weekend, because I have a lot of computers that either don't work or have issues, and as far as I know, I don't think these two computers worked. So we're gonna look at them and see what they do and why they don't work. Now, I'm not entirely sure why, but this is a Dell Inspiron 5100. It's really old, it's got an XP sticker. It looks really old and ancient, and it's like, you know, in a square. Basically, the screen is like square instead of being longer. So this is a really old system. The other one is the same. But this takes a really weird connector for the power, which this is like not a connector I've seen before, but luckily I have, you know, the tips for my charger. Okay, so this connector is really weird as you guys can see. I'm gonna plug this in. This is the way it goes in. It's kind of hard to do it on camera. So I think it went in actually, but this is just a really weird connector but I do have one that fits it and I have my universal charger. So I'm gonna plug this in and we're gonna see what it does and see if it actually powers up or not. The system is plugged in guys. I have no idea what it's gonna do. I plugged it in. I don't know if it's plugged in on the bottom. I think it is. Yeah, it is plugged in. So the system's plugged in, but it doesn't power on but it's connected and it's not lighting up. It's not doing anything. We have it plugged in. It just doesn't do anything. This computer just has no sign of life. It's plugged in, but it's literally not. Oh, it's blinking. I don't know if the power is like, if it's cause I pushed the button. I don't know if it's loose, but it did light up something. I pushed the button and it blinked. Push it again, nothing. Push it again, nothing. It, it seems like when I push the button multiple times, it starts blinking. So that's the issue with this computer. It's plugged in, but it just doesn't do anything. It blinks this light, which I believe is the power light. Yeah, it's the battery light, but it doesn't actually turn on. I have no idea why. Let me try unplugging it, and I'm gonna plug it in in three, two, one. It's plugged in. Push the button. Nothing. It's not even blinking anymore, guys. The computer is just dead. Let's make sure it's plugged in correctly. It's not even, oh, it blinked. So that's the issue. Maybe it's the battery. Maybe it's so dead it just won't power up. I mean, I might try taking it out and seeing if that makes a difference. So I will be right back. So guys, I took the battery out. This is the battery if you guys want to look at it. But this is what I took out of the computer. So... I don't know why it's not working. I feel like this battery is just really old. This is 14 volts, so maybe this charger is just too much voltage for it. I'm starting to wonder if maybe that's why it's not working. Maybe this charger killed it because of too much voltage. Or maybe it's because this computer is just broken. I'm not really sure, honestly, as to why it won't power up. But it's the only charger that actually, like, fits the tips I have. So I'm starting to wonder, though, if maybe that's what killed it because that said 14 volts and I know my charger is like 19. Oh no, 
that couldn't be what killed it because input is 20 volts here and my charger is 19 although this takes more amps so maybe that's the problem I'm not sure because if I pull up my charger 3.42 amps this doesn't go to go to 4.5 amps so it could just be the fact that this doesn't have this power does not have enough amps to power it up potentially so that could be the case although who knows let me know guys do you think that's the reason it's not powering up do you think it has to do with this charger because it does blink but let me know Although I might still end up getting rid of it anyway, because this computer is really old regardless. So anyways, that's enough of showing this one. I'm most likely getting rid of this computer though, because, you know, over this weekend I'm getting rid of computers that don't work. So I'm probably going to get rid of this one and just, you know, get the parts out of it. Like the hard drive, the RAM, and stuff like that. And then, yeah. So anyways, I will be back with the next system. Alright guys, this is the other system. You can see it's really beaten up. It's really scratched. And if we open it, this is a Dell Inspiron 2200. Now this one doesn't look nearly as thick as the other one, so this one might be newer. It is a Pentium M. I can't remember what the other one was. But this one looks, you know, interesting. I like the way the keyboard looks and stuff. I don't remember the issue with this one. So I guess we'll find out because I'm going to plug it in in the back because I believe that's the power right there. And I have this. So let's plug it in. I don't know what it's going to do. It might just not power on at all because we're not getting any lights. Let's see. Oh, it does. Wait, it's working? Invalid configuration information, please run setup program. Uh, okay. This computer works apparently, but it's just stuck there. Time of day not set, battery calibration required. This is the best done at a time when you don't plan using it, please verify. It just shut off. Maybe it doesn't work. I don't think I've ever gotten that far with this computer, though. Yeah. It's not powering on anymore. Look at that. It got mad. Maybe this just isn't enough power? I really don't know. It, like, won't power on anymore after that. What was that about? Um, I'm gonna plug it back in. Let's see if we can get it to do that again. And the computer is dead now, guys. You know, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna unplug it. I'm gonna take the battery out. And I'm gonna see what happens. Alright, guys, I took it out. This is the battery, as you can see here, if you wanna look at it. But I did look at the bottom, it was 19 volts and like 3 point something amps, it was enough, my charger's enough for it, so I know it should work. Let's see if it powers on without a battery. No? The computer just straight up died on me, you guys saw that in the recording. It went to the BIOS on like some battery screen and it just shut off immediately after that was the weirdest thing. I even pushed F1 to continue even. Meaning it should have booted, but instead it took me to the BIOS and shut off and now it won't turn back on. That is the weirdest crap I've ever seen. The computer's just dead now. I'm like really lost for words. I'm gonna try and put it back in and replug in the charger. All right, guys, we're back. I have the charger. I did replug it into the wall. I did put the battery back in. Let's see if the same thing happens again. If it does, I'm gonna be so confused. In fact, I probably won't even turn on now. Nope. It won't turn on. What in the world's happening here? It just died. Like, the system's acting like it's not getting power, it's just acting dead. 
I wonder if it's something to do with the CMOS, because I could tell the CMOS was dead, I think, based on the messages it was saying, saying the config was invalid or something. I think the CMOS is bad, and maybe that could be causing our issues. You know, I'm gonna try reseeding that if I can. I doubt I can get to it, maybe I can. I'm gonna see. So one thing I noticed is when I took this panel off, this RAM is really old. 256 megabytes of DDR, that is old, and you can see the speed. So honestly, this computer isn't really worth repairing. I'm gonna put this panel back on. I try to take this apart, but I think it's a complicated process and it's late at night, so I'm not gonna bother. But this is some information about the system and this. And I believe there's stuff over here. Hold on. If you want to look up the service tag, feel free because this computer doesn't even work. And maybe we can get more information from the service tag of what the computer was. So, anyways, I'm going to put this back on. It shows the product key, so I don't want to show product keys on video for reasons. But anyways, I'm going to get this back on, and we're going to try and boot it one more time. If it still doesn't work, I'm going to move on to the next system. Alright guys, this is the last time I'm going to try it. Nope, doesn't look like it's working. I might try it in the morning because you guys might be seeing this video a bit late because I was going to do another system, but then I decided to do these first and then to do those on Monday because I need a bit more time with one of them. So basically, you guys will be seeing these first, but it might go up later in the day because tomorrow I'm going to record the other system that I'm going to edit and upload it. I'll try this again in the morning. If it still doesn't work, it still doesn't work. I'll probably just like take the hard drive and I don't know if the RAM is worth taking. So you guys can let me know because I'm getting rid of these like on Sunday. So let me know if it's worth it because this computer along with this one down here, I'm getting rid of. And some other ones I'm going to record on a video probably tomorrow night as well, just to show at a later time. But anyway, I'm going to stop the video for tonight, so you guys will be seeing tomorrow's recording, and yeah. So guys, it's the next day. I'm going to try out this computer again and see if it boots. If it doesn't, I'm just going to say forget about it, because I'm getting rid of it anyway. But I just want to see if it powers on today. Since it hasn't been plugged in for hours, there's a chance it might. Nope. It is still dead. That is the weirdest thing. I mean, it's old anyway. It's a Pentium M. I really don't care about it. So, basically, this computer I'm getting rid of. So, I'm going to show the N7010 now, which that one does work. I'm not sure what I'm going to do in it yet, but I'm going to get it out and start recording it, and I'm going to think about it while I do that. Alright guys, so this is the Dell Inspiron N7010, as you guys can see. I don't think it really says it anywhere. It says Inspiron up there. But this is the computer. Now, the history on this computer was that it got given to me towards, I believe, the end of 2021 by my dad's friend. Because they had gotten a new one because they said this one broke. But the reason why it didn't work was because if you look at these keys up here, you know, there's some buttons up here and all kinds of stuff. That Wi-Fi button got pressed, which turned the Wi-Fi off, and they thought the computer was broken because it wouldn't connect to the internet. And they got a new one, and then they gave me the old one, so this is the old one. And they don't want it because they already got a new one. And this one is already like 10 years old anyway because they had it for around 10 years. So they wanted to replace it anyway. But like it worked fine before that. So I'm going to plug my USB in and we're going to boot it and install an OS. I wiped the drive so there is nothing on here. So. If you see... USB storage, and I'll show you what I'm going to install. We're installing Windows 7. Because this computer, I believe, was a Windows... This is a Windows 7 era system. It's got an i3, I believe a first generation i3. I think 3 or 4 gigs of RAM, I can't remember. We'll have to check. I think it's 4. 
And yeah, I haven't really used this computer much at all. It does have a broken key on it. The Q key is broken. But that's honestly fine. It's actually right there because they removed the, I think the N key broke. Or I think the M key broke and then they put the Q key in its place because Q isn't used often. So we're gonna install Windows 7 for the video. Now the other two computers, I didn't really explain the story on because I believe my brother might have given me one or one of those. And I think the other one came from someone in my youth group because it didn't work. And they had a computer laying around that just didn't work, which is that Dell that actually powered on and then shut off. That that that's the one that they gave me. So you can see this is a blank drive. I will say one thing: this hard drive is failing because I opened Crystal Disk Info and it did say caution. But for it being a failing hard drive, it's still pretty fast. I did have seven on here before though, and it was corrupting. And the reason is because you know the drive is uh, failing, so it corrupted. But we're reinstalling 7 on here again because, you know, I don't know. I really don't know what else to do with it. I don't really have very many Windows 7 systems, and I know that Windows 7 is unsupported, but it's not like a computer I'm going to use. In fact, later on I might, you know, give this to someone that needs a computer, or I might just keep it in my closet as a mess around system. I'm not entirely sure yet because I am getting rid of a lot of my computers and I know I've said that a ton of times. I actually plan to record a video soon on that because in a few days, um, a lot of computers that don't work are going to a recycling center. So, yeah. So I'm gonna let this install and I'm gonna come back when we're getting close. And yes, this video will go out late because you know today's already Monday and I haven't edited yet but it shouldn't hopefully take me that long to edit. So anyways, I'll be back. All right guys, so we are back and it installed. So I don't know, I'm probably just gonna name the user local user. And the reason is because I might join this to my domain. All right guys, I had to switch rooms because someone walked in and I don't want any TV noises or background noises. So I'm in my room on the floor currently, which I've never recorded in here before, but I might start doing that more often because there is less background noise that I have to deal with. It's not super bright in here. I should have made it brighter, but um, I named the, the computer. I put the username. I love how Windows 7 lo lets you do that. It's really nice. I think I typed it right though. So ask me later on the updates because I do have to install like updates to fix updates. All right, so Windows is now finalizing my settings. I'm going to let it do this and I'm going to come back probably or maybe not, I don't know. But I'm thinking if I wanna have more looking back videos, I can't really record during the day because there's always background noise all right guys so the computer got to the desktop it doesn't have a network driver i don't think the battery i don't know if it works in this computer or not i haven't really tested it much i think it does but it doesn't last very long so we're gonna open device manager if i can actually see what i'm typing because it's really dark in here Yeah, we're missing like the ethernet, the network, and I can tell we're missing the display because it's using the standard and the screen resolution is obvious to say. It looks like it's 800 by 600 or something. Probably is. So, yeah, we check it. I bet it is. Yup, it's 800 by 600. So yeah, we don't have a display driver. So for being a hard drive though, this is really fast. And the fact that the hard drive's actually failing in this computer. I would download Crystal Disk Info and show you guys, but I can't because I don't have Wi-Fi drivers right now. And I'm in my room, so I can't get them at the moment. So basically that's this computer. I'll probably get drivers for it. Keep it as my Windows 7 system for now. 
I don't know what else I'm gonna do for it. I might include a screenshot of actually this drive because I know I did take a screenshot of the health of the drive before. So I might end up putting that screenshot in this video so you guys can see the health of it from when I last checked, which wasn't that long ago. Probably like the last time I used it, a few months ago or so. Um, probably three to four months ago, but it hasn't really been used since then, so. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this looking back video. I'll try and get more up sooner. It's just right now it's been difficult trying to clean things, trying to, you know, figure out what I'm getting rid of and stuff like that. But also it's really hard for me to record during the day due to interruptions and then at nighttime I get tired. So it's just been a bit of a problem lately. But I might start recording videos in my room during the day and just bring the computers because that's another thing I can do. And yeah, I just have to sit on the floor though if I'm going to do that, which I'm honestly fine with. But yeah, this is the laptop. It's honestly a nice looking system. It's just this keyboard is missing a key and the keyboard doesn't really work well. Sometimes you have to press hard on the keys for them to register. Yeah, obviously you saw the specs of the system i3 m370 4 gigs of ram and this is a 64 bit version of 7 i don't know if i should keep it on 64 or put it on 32 but it seems to be running fine so yeah anyways hope you enjoyed this video i need to start editing this so i can get it up it'll probably go up later today if it does go up a day late i'm sorry i'm gonna try not to do that i'm gonna try and get it up later today but i don't know how long the upload is going to take but I do have computers planned for Monday because I had to delay a few of the ones I wanted to do as I need to work on it and haven't had time. So that's why I decided to do a different one, which is kind of why this video is going up late as well. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying this series and bye-bye for now.